Yo. How's it going? Just getting set up now. Uh, how we sounding? Is anyone even here? I'm not sure. I have the window <laughs> vault tabbed out. Vorteki the Estes. Yes, someone is here. Um, yes, Vorteki the Estes, the new meme. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I got in a weird rabbit hole of, um, <laughs> Vortec videos on TikTok, like, about an hour ago. Sounds good. Cool. Uh, ooh, someone wearing Havel set sitting next to me at the bonfire. Cool. So... Ooh, someone else with the big sword. Um, so yeah, last night, got the Drake sword, got a couple pieces of boulders set. Um, I think I got the night shield the day before. I'd really like the boulders, um, uh, gloves and pants, but um, I don't know if I want to keep hanging around the same area. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Thank you for sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of interesting hashtags on TikTok with that. I think, like, half of them are people that just don't know. But yeah, Maritai, <laughs> he did. The original Vortec, yeah. Uh, so, um, yeah, I just need to feel like I need to fight a couple skeletons. Just every time, you know, it's like you need to warm up with Souls game combat. Like, every time you step away, you gotta come back and you just gotta... You know, like, let them... Let these weak dudes get a couple hits on you first before you kinda, like... You're in the zone. Really digging that the Drake Sword just, um... Let's me take out these dudes in one hit. Um, just because it's like a quality of life thing, you know? It's like, it's easy enough to kill them anyway, but it just makes it so much faster. I do wish it had like some kind of lunge or something. Like a straightforward attack that isn't the, um, ooh. The magic one that it does, because uh, yeah, in tight, tight spots, it um becomes pretty useless. Da, 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 da. All right. Okay. Cool. I'm feeling. I'm feeling warmed up. Um. So. The next logical step would probably be the gargoyles, and I'm, um, I'm human now. Well, I'm, I've reversed my hollowing, which, um, I hadn't done previously. I did it right at the end of the session last night, just to see what my sweet baby boy looked like with some meat on his bones. But, um, I might try the gargoyles again with it to see if I can summon some help. Uh, what does this guy get to say? Again? Nothing interesting at the moment. I don't know if I'm gonna bother with miracle stuff. Come again. The effectiveness well, not yet, anyway. So, um, yeah, take the elevator shortcut up here to the parish. Maybe after the gargoyle, we can reevaluate the uh, asylum. What is that? That's happened a couple times where I've randomly just got like, like some weird fire attack that does nothing or something. I'm sure I should know what that is. It seems like something I should know about. Okay, I'm gonna start by getting the uh, Bel Boulder Knights down here. 
just because, um, like I said earlier, I'm really keen to get some more of their gear. And they're at the point where they're not too difficult anymore. Like, uh, at the start of the session last night, they were, um, pretty, pretty difficult, but now I've got the Drake Sword and stuff. Oh, shit. Well, I aggroed two at a time, too, so this might be rough, but I'm not really too scared of them anymore. But yeah, they still do get the odd shot in. And they got Estus as well. I'm the only one that gets the Vortiki the Estus. Yeah, buddy. Speaking of which... Probably... Not a great idea to be doing that before, um... To be using all my, uh... It's just before a boss fight, but whatever. Um, so which way do I go? This way, yeah. So there's another boulder knight here. Yeah, so you can see my uh, sword sparking off the walls. It's not great. What is Vorteki? <laughs> yeah, definitely not the same thing. Infinite Domain, what is Vorteki? Uh, Vorteki is like a New Zealand drinking meme, which is funny because I don't even really drink. <laughs> it's um when you, you skull back a bottle exactly like drinking an Estus flask, but you kind of like do this little thing where you kind of like swirl it around real quick and it creates like a little, um like a whirlpool in the bottle. And, um, like a vortex, or, uh, as we say, the vortex -y. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it was like some, um, I think it was like, uh, one of those, like, viral influencer kind of dudes, uh, made it popular among, um, Bogans. But it's, like, objectively hilarious. And there's like just hordes of um, TikTok teens that make videos of them uh, selves vorteking like water bottles at school and stuff. And they have like all kinds of like special vorteki tricks. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's 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 pretty great. Yeah, if you like jump on TikTok, uh, TikTok and search for TikTok, you'll see exactly what I mean in like five seconds. Do some tricks, yeah. <laughs> Do a Vorteki. <laughs> yeah, it's all like, Do a reverse pause Vorteki. Even if it's jump on like, yeah, Google or something, it's pretty funny. I've, um, I posted a video earlier tonight that I got off TikTok of a kid, um, doing one. So if you go to my Twitter, um, you'll see it there. It's the one where I said, um, like this, this kid gives more respect to the water bottle he's about to vortex than Judith Collins did to, um, any Maori at, um, Waitangi. And it is true, like, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, oh, Solera of Astora. Uh, yeah, fuck yeah, I'm gonna summon um, Knight Solera for some jolly co cooperation. This is the first time I've summoned anyone this playthrough, actually. So, uh, here we are. And who better to bring? In my experience, most um, of Dark Souls 1 at least, most um, ooh, shit. NPC summons aren't particularly useful. Uh. But um, 
he might be good just oh actually no he's doing all right yeah i can definitely uh fuck with him oh no Wow. He's actually, uh, Knight Solaire is definitely winning this for me, like, immediately after I talk shit on him. There we go. Alright, I need to, um... Oh, I can't do my... Oh, that's weird. It's not letting me do... Oh, there we go. I needed to do a sweet bow to um, Solaire before he left, but he didn't have the, uh, wasn't popping up. Thank you for following, teeny neeny, teeny neeny neeny neeny. All right, sweet. So that is more bosses down, and um, I got the I got the tail weapon in um, an earlier fight against them that I didn't win, but I. Uh, I got the tail axe thing, so that's cool. Um, was there anything hidden around here? I don't remember. Cool. And I always forget, is there like a secret in this tower? Or am I just imagining things? Like in lots of towers, there's like secrets if you like come off the ladder in a certain way or whatever. I don't think this is one of them. But that's just like a classic trope of towers in Souls games. Okay. Here we go. Here we fucking go. I did it. All right. I think I might need to um, screenshot this actually. What's the, I think it's like Windows key and print screen. Cool. Ooh. Yeah, lift's definitely like rolling off a lift as it's going up you know there'll be like some secret room or something um which is the kind of stuff that i love finding you know when you're playing a new souls game and you're like wait a minute like this looks like you know like you'll be on an elevator and you'll be like there's a little bit extra space out that way like there looks like a gap i can just like roll through or something like there's um kind of a look to secrets in these games. Ooh, shit. Almost fell. You know, like, um... You just see something and you're like, yeah, that looks right. That looks like a secret. Alright, and here's this, uh... Cheeky lad. Hmm... This dude's so fucking anime. All sin is his domain. I bet. Look at this pervert. He's <laughs> like wearing like black latex and a face mask. Talking about sin. In an old church. Like this mid-American fucking gothic sociopath in fetish gear. <laughs> Big latexy hug, yeah, I know, right? Um, so... Okay, cool. Um... I might buy... Two Homeward Bones. Um... I don't know if I need a Purging Stone just yet. I might just grab... Oh, fuck, no, they're super expensive. Nah, I was going to grab a couple just for the future, but I might just leave it. Um, 
Okay. Shit, I should buy one of these as well. Poison does fuck me up. But do I need to bother with these just yet? I mean, like, the only poison I've really been encountering so far is, like, the rats. And, I mean, it fucked me up, but I'm at the point where I'm kind of killing them before they poison me now. So, I don't know. Chat, uh, I wouldn't bother. Was that for the uh, purging stones or the rings? It's about what you have for Blight Town, but yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll get, um, I'll get the poison by ring. Because, uh, yeah. Like, uh, like you say, Arch Heretic, Poison Bite might be handy for, uh, Blight Town. Um, and I'm, like, not super attached to souls as a currency. Like, you know, they're easy enough to come by. It's only really kind of late in the game that it takes a long time to level up. Um, I'm not at the point where I feel like I'm, like, starving for them. Anti stinky down, yeah. I should check it on. It's um only the second ring I found it. Oh wait, no. I got the ring of sacrifice, but I don't want to waste that. Oh yeah, it just does that, huh? Dun, 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 dun. Thank you for following ye old boy T Dog. <laughs> Thank you, T Dog. Ye old boy. So, alright, for um those people that have just tuned in, there's at least one of you. <laughs> just beat the gargoyles, um, with the help of Night Solaire. And now Um what are we gonna do? I'm gonna fight this Boulder Knight. And then head back down to Firelink. Um, actually, I haven't gone to visit Latrick since I rescued him. So he's probably got some shit to say. Ooh. I'm only fighting this guy because... I uh, want some more boulder armor. I know these rapier guys are really um, into uh, jumping forward and back. Like, I mean, it's like typical kind of fencing bullshit, right? Um, so you gotta kind of got to be careful not to give it an, an opening. Ooh, they gave me a fright there. I walked around and I was like, how the fuck did he get back? But it's just ragdolled on the wall. I didn't beat the, um, the big knight dude that's here when you first come through. I, uh, I just ran through because I, uh, wanted to get to the bonfire. I don't think he comes back if you don't fight him. I can't remember. Um. Da, 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 da. These bloodstains. I do kind of love the blood stains as like a warning, for, you know, like you know that some shit's about to go down or has already been down. I've already beaten a lot of the stuff in there. Um, actually. Why am I doing this way? I should just take the elevator back down to Firelink. Just messing around, you know? I do kind of get, like, a little bit sidetracked sometimes when, you know, like, I see a dude and I'm just like, eh, may as well take him out. And then before you know it, you've, like, gone on this, like, little side mission and you're, like, halfway across the map from where you were planning on going. I guess, like, the nature of games where there's, like, a little bit of a grind, you know? Okay. Yeah, there's also the undead 
um, Asylum, returning to that, which is something that I would like to do. Um, hmm, not sure if I want to do it next or not, though, or maybe leave it a little bit. Yeah, got to do it for Souls, exactly. Alright. Okay, I thought he was going to say. Blah, blah, blah. And so, um, Le Trick of Karim should be, uh, chilling down by where the firekeeper is. Is this guy gonna talk shit again? Rude. You gotta hustle hard, buddy. Mmm. That is a good point. <laughs> um, Archer Dick says, if you're not too invested in the plot, kick Lotric off the um, edge for early uh, FAP. Uh, hmm. Because left to his own devices, he kills her, right? It's been like maybe like 10 years since I played this last. Because you can just boot him. Yeah, he's such a creep. Like, he keeps talking about, you know, like, his work, resuming his work and stuff. Yeah. So, I might just rest at the bonfire. And then maybe, uh, maybe we do that. I've, um, I've done a lot of things that I hadn't really done before. Uh, this playthrough. Like, I was in tending to just be super chill and just kind of mess around or whatever but um like i've pulled off a couple things that i was pretty stoked with so if i do this it'll be good like i beat the taurus demon first go when i like didn't have any armor uh, and i still just had like the basic club i um what did i do i got i'd s skipped through the hellkite dragon's legs on the bridge and um like survived the fire which was cool, um, opened up that bonfire early, and then last night I killed the boar with the, um, by bringing down the gate, and it just, like, the timing was a total accident, but it was perfect, so, um, yeah, I'm doing a lot of that kind of stuff, but yeah. Oh. Oh, I ran out. Oh. He didn't quite uh, fall off the edge, so now I gotta actually fight him, but he's not too bad. Oh, no! Oh. Yes, got him. That was so close though, look at my health. Here we go, ring of favor and protection. I love a good fap. So. Hmm, so. Do I want to put it on instead of the blue tear stone ring? Yeah, it was close. Oh, hey, I didn't realize you were here, Niotic. Um. Oh, wait, you can bind kick to the keyboard? Holy shit. Fuck, that changes everything. How do I do that? Um, key settings. Oh, do I have to do it like a macro or something? Yeah, it'd probably be like a macro that I have to set up outside of the game, right? 
Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll bother with that, because um, I know that some people have been, um, or not in this game in particular, but in other Souls games, you can get in trouble for using macros. Um, like, uh, you know, you, you can't play the regular online server. But, um, yeah, so I might just leave that, because I don't want to get banned for cheating live on stream. <laughs> What was that? Why does that keep happening? That's something, right? I, I know what that is. Um, anyway. Can't talk to it. Yeah, I should, um, I'll replace the blue tear stone ring, because, um, I mean, it was only, I was only using it because I, uh, picked it up first, but I just hate the thing that, like, breaks when removed, you know? Oh, fuck, I almost broke it just then, <laughs> as soon as I put it on. Um... Uh, let me just look at the stats of it again real quick. So, okay, cool. Oh, right. That's, no, oh, of course. That's right. And it, the little flame goes from the bonfire and goes to here. That's right. Which is good. I love all those little things like that. Like, what I've been saying a lot over the last couple of nights is how there's, like, you know, as bleak as it is, there's, like, these little kind of um, mechanical things that kind of um, add to this, like, hopeful feeling, you know? Um, but, yeah. Anyway, uh, so, now we've done that. Um, I was contemplating killing the merchant undead berg as well for the, um, I think it's the Uchi Gatana. Um, because it's kind of cool. It's very anime. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna... Strong early game weapon. Do you think that it would be better? Like, because I've got the Drake Sword now. So is it worth getting the Uchi Katana as well? He's not a particularly useful vendor. That's why. Oh, there is one in there, isn't there? I haven't really been through the um, graveyard yet. Because what? There's like Zwei Honda. There's like. Um, it's like. I think the binoculars are in there, some other stuff. But. Um, and a barbarian. No, no to what? Um, Anna or Anna, Anna. I don't know if you're Maori or not. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, he's not a particularly useful merchant. Um, I did use him already to buy, like, literally maximum arrows of the basic arrows and then, like, the, the super cheap ones um, because I was expecting to use way more for to get the Drake Sword. So... That has, was always his main utility for me. A couple of shields in there too, yeah. I don't have a blessed weapon yet. To like, put down the skeletons. So... Should I try and get one of those first? I don't need one? I always thought... Oh, I mean, it has been like a year since I, um... Since I've played this. What's the deal with the skeletons? Oh, I can hear the snoozing. It's like, um, what's his name? Dark, Dark Stalker? Is there a cheese? Oh. Hmm. Gonna go upstairs first. It's the big, uh, 
Big Mama Crow. There's a drop under the Berg elevator. So, the elevator that goes up and down to the, um, the parish, right? And it's like you send it up and you drop down underneath. Is that it? Okay, maybe we can, uh, oh, actually, I think, yeah, I think I remember that vaguely. I kind of love all the weird items and the lore and stuff in this game like in one of the all of these games but particularly this one like um yeah like homeward bone like it's just a you know like they were like we need an item like a town portal let's just make it like what is it it's like bone fragment reduced to white ash return to last bonfire used for resting it's like yeah, and bonfires are fueled by the bones of the undead. It's like... Really, um... I don't know. It's great. So what did this ghost do? So there's this stuff down there, right? And is it... Can you... Jump over to that, to the, in there. Yeah, the lore implications, I know, that's what I'm thinking, right? It's like... Can I make it if I roll over here? Just go down the empty side of the room. Mm. This one here. You're not, you're not punking me. I'm not. <laughs> this isn't a prank. There we go. So dark. So creepy. <laughs> yeah, no, I do, like, vaguely remember a lot of this stuff. But still, like, there's some things where I'm like, I think there's a secret there. But then, also, maybe I'm not remembering that there is a secret there. Maybe I'm remembering that I was convinced there was. And I spent ages fucking around there, but there really isn't, you know, like, yeah, 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 exactly. Like stuff like that, you know, it's, it's awesome. Especially when you're getting closer to it and it's getting louder, you know? Yeah. It's like, I, I know people that have played through the game, like, uh, especially in the, when it was brand new and we we're all playing it and, um, on Xbox and people were, I had friends that were playing it offline and they didn't really get it. Um, yeah, true. Good point. Um, and I feel like that's such like a, you know, it's like, you're not, you're just not getting the same kind of thing, right? Like playing these games offline. And I know people that were like, Oh, it's just really stressful. You know, like, uh, people can invade and all that kind of stuff. But you know, like if you're not, if you're hollow, you don't have to worry about that. And, um, yeah, I just don't see why you would want to play them offline. It's down to the right. The bigger souls have quite, yeah, yeah. So there's that one over there. Is that the one we're looking at? The one that's like right behind where my head is now. Not down the stairs though. Wait. That's the wing spear, I think. So there's one after that. Oh, okay. So, um, so. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, fuck. All right. Oh, yeah. I see there's one just around there. So I'm going to grab this. Oh, yeah. Just a large though. Here we go. Wing spear. That's this one here. I think I can take him out. Oh. Maybe not. Okay, cool. We're going down here. This one here. Sway hander. Cool. 
we got at least one thing that we came for. And we are leaving with some things we didn't come for. An army of uh, skeletons. Very much reminds me of the old... Um... Oh, shit. Oh, no, it got me. The skeletons from the old, like, um, Clash of the Titans or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I remember that being down on the cliffside there. Um, I'm not super fussed about those just yet. I'll probably come back for those later. I do want to grab my souls, though, because that was a few thousand. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, um, the stop-motion skeletons. I, the, I think it was um, Ray Harryhausen that did them. I used to just, yeah, I used to love that shit when I was a kid. I still do. I think um, stop motion is like super fascinating. I'd love to uh, actually do some kind of stop motion animation one day for something. Okay. Is there any more following me? Is that lad gonna get back out? Stop motion that. Made of beef jerky. Yeah, I forgot about that actually. I'm hollow again, but that's okay for now. Um, I'm still handsome on the inside. And on the outside, fuck it. Fuck these human beauty standards. Yeah, there was, um, what was that one that, there was a stop motion one I saw a little while back now that was like, um, what, it was like Kubo and the Seven Strings or something? It was kind of like a whack story and like, you know, like whatever, but, um, the animation itself was like fucking pretty impressive, you know? There was, um, one character who was like a, this kind of like, um, snow monkey kind of character. And, uh, yeah, Kubo and the Two Strings, uh, there was, uh, the, the monkey dude, uh, and his actual fur, like, how each little bit is, like, hand animated and stuff, like, when you really look at it, it's pretty, pretty impressive. Yeah, I don't remember too much about it aside from the animation, I wasn't, like... I think I was too kind of, I was like really focusing on that, that I don't even really remember what the story was. So, okay, cool. Let's have a look at what I got now. Uh, this way, hander, cool. Wing spear, cool. Oh, I have a talisman. When did I pick that up? Nice. Well, maybe that dude gave it to me. I can't remember. Can he attack? Maybe. Hmm. Let's, um, let's discuss strategies. So, um, yeah, it is. I, um, I don't know if it would, let's see, um, I'll see how much damage it does compared to the Drake Sword at the moment, because my strength is at 25, which is decent. I'll just see if it, um, outweighs the damage on these guys. So, this boy here. One thirty nine damage in one hit. And let's see. Cool. Ooh. Okay, come on, lad. One seventeen. So at this point, um, it's slower, but it has great reach. Um, if you if you could just skip from the depths and go straight to Blight Town, I could actually. I do have the key. I did go for that. Um, I'm gonna um, unequip 
this for now for my just for my un my equip load. Um, yeah, maybe I should do. I don't know. What's what's your opinion, chat? Should I um, go straight down or should I uh, go through like Capra and stuff? You do have the poison bite to deal with a stinky poison. Yeah, somewhat. I um, <laughs> poison is I fucking hate poison in these games. It's so bad. Poison and curse is like the bane of my undeath. I'm gonna sit here for a second, and I might just even just jump over to Twitter and um, retweet that I am uh, fooling around here. Cool. All right. If you're ready to fight Quailag, then definitely. Hmm. Should the dead six days, but it's always nice to do okay, but Yeah, I do. Hmm. Good point. Cool. Moonlight butterfly. Moonlight butterflies, uh, the forest, right? And those little ruins. Um, what would be the way to do? Hmm. So I'd have to go over um, through the parish down there. Do I have to beat that Titanite demon to get through there? Hmm. Or do I want to try and fight the Titanite demon? Because it's so close to a bonfire. It would be cool to take one out, and, um, I remember getting to the point where I could just do them without getting hit once I actually remembered the, um, you know, their, like, actual, uh, movesets and stuff. So, that could be fun. You're, you're all just, you're saying I should just sprint past, but, like, I feel like that... You have so little faith in my sweet son. <laughs> so close to the bonfire, I'm like, it would be cool to take, take him out. I'm gonna um, take out some boulder knights as well, because like I'm saying, I really want some more armor. Bring this guy down. Yeah, they do have massive health. Yeah, that's like one of those things, right? It's more like a battle of just um, trying not to be greedy, you know? Like, just uh, ooh. taking the hits where you can and not getting frustrated and just slapping them. I <laughs> do you to just be but Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. It is tempting always. And sometimes it pays off, like, hugely, you know? But, uh... Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. 
Yeah, even if they don't drop the armor, the um, souls that they drop is kind of worth it. Sometimes I wish there was like a little bit more of an opening for the backstabs. Because there's plenty of times where it's like so close that it's like... You know like that break between game mechanics and like... And uh... You know what your character should feasibly be able to do, you know? Like there's no reason that I couldn't have just backstabbed that dude. It's the same thing with like how it's like super hard to perform a kick. It's like, it would be easier to just like, you know, like kick an enemy than it would be to perform some of the standard attacks with some weapons, but the mechanics and the controls of the games actually make it more difficult. Yeah, something like that. Um, the Surge 2, another Souls-like game. Uh, the Surge 2 has a really good system for um, like blocking and countering. You have to um, equip like an implant, which is, you know, like uh, just like a little cyborg implant thing. You get them in the game and they can um, do everything from increase your base stats to like giving you new elements to your heads up display or whatever. But one of them is like a block indicator. And um, you, uh, because you can, um, like when you're attacking a dude, when you lock on, you can move the stick to kind of choose like if you want to hit from a side, like the left side, right side, up, or whatever. But it um, it just shows you where the enemy is blocking. And um, it's kind of like training wheels. It's really good to play with for a little bit. But then it kind of teaches you how to identify, like, you know, when they're holding their hands in a certain way, how they're going to attack, and then you can take the implant off. But, um, yeah, it works really, really good for, um, like, blocking and parrying and um, being able to counterattack once you successfully block and stuff. Um, yeah, I, uh, I was really impressed with that. Yeah, like, exactly like For Honor, like, that same kind of thing, except, like, in a Souls-like game. It, um, yeah, it was, it, it definitely made the combat way more enjoyable than The Surge 1. The Surge 1, I liked more as a game, I think, just because I liked the really, like, cramped, tight environments. Um, but mechanically, the second one overshadows it in pretty much every, every single way. Yes, the Visceral Attack in Bloodborne is, like, we've been talking about that a lot while I've been streaming. Um, yeah, such a really good um, meeting of kind of, like, the thematic elements of, like, the kind of, you know, like this kind of vampirism kind of thing, and uh, something that addresses an issue that a lot of people had with the gameplay, and, yeah, speeds it up a lot. It's, um, yeah, really, really good. Go, uh, prepare. There's no repair all button, is there? No. Um. Hmm. Are there any weapons I should get? Not really, yeah. I remember, um, when I first played through, I used the war pick quite a lot for a long time. Um. Yeah, I don't really know how it holds up. Rally mechanic is great as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, um, sorry, I was, when I was talking about the visceral attack, that and the, um, the rally system was kind of what I was talking about. Yeah, it is a shame it's PS4 only. I keep hoping that there will be a PC release. I did, um, I played it through, I, uh, borrowed my brother's PS4 and played it through on that and, like, just smashed out all the trophies, you know, I was, like, obsessed with it for a while. But, um, I would love to replay it with the DLC because I didn't do that, the old Hunters, um, yeah, so I, hopefully one day it makes it to PC for that. Um, I don't know if that'll ever happen. It seems kind of late now, but you never know. Like, this, the Dark Souls remaster came years later. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, great game. So, that's 20,000 for them. 
Yeah, it did actually. Good point. Because that was another. Was that another launch exclusive? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, I, that's the only reason I think they probably haven't already done that. Because you know as soon as they released it, like, they would fucking make sales. Yeah, yeah, or well, there'll be like some emulated version that will be playable in about 20 years, you know? <laughs> it is wild seeing, like, some of the games that, um, like, PS3 emulated games that are coming out now that run perfectly, but it's, like, wild how long it's taken, you know? Um, so you can't, um, you can't deposit souls in this game, like, yeah, you can't. So, um, I wonder if I should try and level up and use all these souls that I've got before, um, before carrying on, because I just don't want to be holding too many at a time, you know? Maybe I'll just, um, hang around the parish for a bit, try and get this next level, and then carry on. Like, I'm close enough that I, I would be bummed if I, um, if I lost all my souls now. Only slightly, though, you know. You always get them back. It's like losing like 3,000 souls, I don't really care, but losing like 7,000 at this point is still like a 70% of a level right now. Someone at the base of the tower behind some bush. Yeah, cool. That sounds great. Um, I gotta tell you, I, um, was impressed with, um, Knight Solaire's performance. He's definitely, um, more useful than I remember him being my, from my old playthroughs. Yeah, for the Moonlight Brotherhood. I knew what you meant. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm fighting them because they, um, ooh, they, um, they drop a lot more souls than the standard dudes, and also they do have the chance of dropping the armor, which, um, I can't think of any other decent armor that I can kind of farm at the moment. Uh, this is probably... Yeah, probably the only farmable set that's any good that I don't really, like, you know, like, like, I've already got, like, the Hollow Soldier ones and stuff.
Ooh. So it is one more boulder night down there. Thought he was dead. <laughs> Could have taken a spear to the gut there. So. No. So those are all of the Boulder Knights. Um, nothing there. So you're gonna rest at the bonfire, come back up, kill a couple more of those dudes, uh, and I think I gotta get to like it's like ten thousand four hundred and something to um to be able to get my next level. So I'm gonna go for that. Hmm. Well, I'll probably move on from this area after I, uh, yeah, after I get this level. So if, if the boulder set doesn't drop by then, time to move on. Yeah. I feel like I keep seeing the same ghosts of people. Which is kind of cool because it's like, you know that they're playing around the same time as you, you know, and they're just where you are and chipping away in the same way at the same time. Titanite night shards, good. I have upgraded a couple of my things. Um, just with Titanite night shards, nothing like too valuable, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, sweet, cool. Well, um, I will, yeah, uh, I, I might skip streaming tomorrow night, but um, maybe I'll see you again later in the week. Okay, here we go, these guys again. got to film like um or record a, a closing segment for um my latest video this week so maybe i'll be doing that tomorrow night instead of playing dark souls i was hoping to do it tonight but it's i don't know if you can hear it through the microphone but um probably not through this microphone actually but it's uh it's raining pretty hard and, um, the microphone that I use for recording video stuff is a little bit more sensitive. Okay. wonder if I can sneak up. Yes, <laughs> I was hoping for a backstab, but I don't think I was actually close enough. Oh, 
wouldn't mind more, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I wouldn't mind more Titanite Shard drops because uh, then I can just, even just uh, upgrading some of my more basic gear. Yes, <laughs> nice. It's always so satisfying, like the combination of like, not just the massive damage, but just the um, the noise and sound and animation. It's very good. Um, was there... One more dude in the parish? Maybe. Some dudes upstairs, I think. Yeah, here we go. I think I still need a little bit more to um to level up. So I'll get these uh skeleton dudes, these hollow dudes, and then um that boulder knight, and that should be enough, I think. God I remember how overwhelming this was. The first time I came through. Just in general, how terrifying the game was. Compared to how comfortable I am with it now. Love hearing those bells ring. Okay, Mr... Fencing man. No, no Vortiki. Okay, cool. So I think that's enough for me to level up. Let's go see. The sweet boy is at it again. Yes. We've beat the gargoyles. We've, um, what have we done? Uh, ooh. Oh no, Grave Lord Servant. Scary. Beat the gargoyles. We've, um, done. We killed Lotrek of Karim, uh, and got his ring of favor and protection. Uh, what else? Ran through the graveyard, picked up a bunch of little things, um, some weapons and stuff. And uh, now we're going to level up one more time. Yeah, cool. So. Hmm. What do I think would be... Vitality is always good. Like, I prefer Vitality to Resistance, because the Poison Resistance bonus is good, but I think the Vitality, like, the having more Vitality is better in the long run, because, um, like, uh, the amount of health that the Poison has to burn through from one point is, um, like, the, the health that you get from that one point eclipses the resistance from the poison. Also, I think. Max strength, no vitality. Hell yeah. Fucking, that's, that's real, um, power gaming. I do actually have 25 strength already, which is good. But, um, yeah, at the moment, strength isn't super important, because I'm using the Drake Sword. 
Uh, there will come a time, though, but, you know. I think, um... Yeah, I can't see a downside to putting a point into Vitality at the moment, so I'm going to go for that. Cool. And, uh... Just going to repair all my stuff. Cool. My aim was to kind of, like, spend um, all of the souls that I had before carrying on to um, downstairs, just because I didn't want to, um, be wandering around with, like, almost a full level's worth of souls, you know, um, it's, like, a little bit risky doing that, so I figured I'll just, you know, level up the one time, and then we can go do that, and then it doesn't really matter if I get smashed, you know. And so I might run past the Titanite Demon for now. Because uh, it just, yeah, massive health pool. Um, I feel like given a shot, I could probably beat it. But I need to um, observe it a little bit, learn its moves. Uh, remember, does it jump? So yeah, there's no real reason for me to um to fight it just yet definitely come back for them so okay cool so that grave lord mark is gone that's good so gotta be careful of the mossy mossy friends I can't remember what they look like when they're dormant, but... These are things always make me think of items. You know, and you go towards the item and it's just like a trick. It's a plan. There he is. Okay. Oop. One thing that, um, good games do well, and I think uh, Dark Souls does it well, it's thing you see in a lot of, like, old, like, Mega Man games and stuff is, um... They never just, like, completely spring something on you. Like, if you're patient, you watch. You know, and, like, if, for example, in this area, they send out the one lone kind of, um... Uh... Camouflaged dude to, like, give you a little heads up, you know? That that's gonna be a thing. Yeah, there's one coming. They actually are, like, uh, really effectively camouflaged as well. I actually... I love that it's, like, kind of tricky to be like, shit, is that something moving through the bush? Okay, so... That goes all the way down. And there's like, I think there's a black knight down there, maybe. At the moment, I'm kind of just chilling through here. I want to kill a bunch of those dudes so that I can, um... Get some moss, which will help me in Blight Town and stuff. Moss is like an anti-poison uh, item. Just very careful around anything leafy at the moment. There's one. They have a very good range on them as so. well. Yeah, I knew one was going to jump up. I had that feeling. Ooh. Okay, cool. So these kind of bushes I got to be real careful of. Oh, 
is really psyched out when I like see an item by a ledge. Because I just feel like there's going to be, you know, like something's going to jump out and just kick me. <laughs> Any like little movement, I'm like, what is that? So... True chosen undead, no. Yeah, there's a secret here. Look at this chat. Oh, there's a couple friends. So. Nice. I am tempted to uh, kindle this one myself. I might leave it for now though. So there's an item that um that you need to buy. It's like 20,000 souls to crack that bad boy open. This is where I used to um, farm moss though. There's like this part here. You go in there and a bunch of those, like, bushes jump up. But you can't kill them until they jump up. I think I have to grab the item. So I'm going to get out. Oh no, it got me. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Pump uh, an Estus, do a quick vortex -y. Back in action. Oh, he whipped me through. Ah, oh, he's whipping me through the wall. That sucks. It's almost dead though. Okay, there we go. Still rough. Blood red Moscow. Okay. Cool. I uh, can't remember if there's actually anything beyond that that um, fog gate. I might uh, rest at the bonfire and head down. Yeah, so you could like creep around here and see that there's a bonfire there to get a clue that there's like the illusory wall there. Um, pretty keen to get a few more mosses. There we go. There's a studio. Oops. All right, another one. Uh, 
And I feel like this uh, over there, that's like somewhere you come back to from later. Yeah, there's a moonlight butterfly up there. Um, Hmm. So, do I do the Moonlight Butterfly today? Tonight. It is getting kind of late. Maybe tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to go see what down is through the fog gate and depending on what's down there, if it's just nothing, it's just the next area, I'm going to just going to finish it and finish up for tonight. Uh, if it is a boss, I'll make whatever's behind it my goal for tonight and then I'll finish up the stream. Because, um, yeah, it's like after midnight over here already, so. Oh, forgot these guys. Oh no, <laughs> definitely gonna have to use one of my Estus now. I think they gain back health doing that as well, which is like super annoying, but whatever, that's how these games go. I need to um, reinforce my Estus flask actually. That's something that I should be uh, working towards. That's right, so now the forest proper. Hmm. Is that this one? Yes. I mean, I should be able to tell by all the messages. Try beating to a pulp. Uh, yuck. Can't even remember how much strong this fucking slimy thing is. Not very. Well, not compared to the, the might of dread, but anyway. I always get so lost in these um, forest areas. Oh, it's another one of these people. I'm really just like, be wary of trap. Okay, what's the trap? Is there gonna be like a big ball that rolls down here or something? I hate that shit, I hate any Indiana Jones shit. Oh, this guy. So all these people grabbing the wolf ring, stepping off the side and dying. Man, that sucks. It looks like you can't just step down. But you can't. So. 
What was the wolf ring again? Boost poise, that's right. So poise stops you from getting knocked around too much. Mm -mm. Oh, there we go. Stone greatsword, nice. Extremely not a fan of these forest areas. I know that you can um, see these dudes if you look in the trees, but I um, was just being very absent minded. <laughs> it's like if you look up, you can see them hanging around Green Blossom. Okay. That water sound is quite relaxing. Soul of a proud knight. did say I was going to end up the stream now. So I should probably just kind of like work back towards somewhere kind of safe. Yeah, okay. So maybe I'll um I'll head back up. To the bonfire because it's not that far away and we'll just rest there and um that will be us for tonight i think and then uh tomorrow night i'm guessing well maybe not tomorrow night maybe the night after um will be time for the moonlight butterfly um i'll probably Reverse my hollowing Ooh. and um, try and enlist a friend for that. Um, Neotic was saying earlier that there is a spellcaster you can summon from um, near the base of the tower, which makes things a lot easier. And I am in favor of doing anything that makes things a lot easier. So what do we got? Yeah, like 10,000 before the next level up, so it's still a while away. But, um, yeah, I think that it's enough for Dreadbert tonight. He's been through enough. Had to, uh... Oh, yes, nice. Had to overcome some challenges tonight. Had the, uh, the gargoyles right at the start of the stream, but we, uh, got, uh, didn't take, uh, that long with the, uh, help of Knight Solaire. Um... What else? Took out Latrek of Krim. Thank you for following Matute295. Uh, Just kind of wrapping up the stream here though. Um, but yeah, I'll probably be streaming again throughout the week, uh, carrying on the Chronicles of Dread bit. Um, I think um, maybe, yeah, like I was saying, I've got, um, I've got some stuff to do tomorrow night, but then the night after that, around... Like, well, I, I started about two hours ago, two or three hours ago, so around that kind of time I'll be back on. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll try and go for the Moonlight Butterfly. Um, and I'm not sure if I'll, I want to carry on through the forest after that. I would maybe like to do... Uh, I don't know, maybe that'll be it. And maybe we'll try and um, get enough for the crest for the door here. I think that's probably possible. But, yeah... Um, it's been fun. 
thank everyone. Thanks to everyone still in the chat uh, for hanging out. Um, I'm going to end the stream now and I'll see you all later on.